The following figure indicates release guide, Miss Wonger's guide, voucher's guide, none of the above. Now this is an image based question, very straightforward. Let's look at the image. There are two points, point A and point B. Point A is from the anterior nasal spine to the chin, deepest point of the chin, highest point on the chin. And point B is from corner of the mouth to outer canthus of eye. Okay. Now here it's written A is equal to B. This is a very important guide historically. Now nobody uses this. It's, it's an important assessment for vertical dimension. Now we know that vertical dimension can be at rest and at occlusion. At rest is also known as physiologic rest position and at occlusion is when the teeth are in, uh, when you are biting on your teeth. Now for a completely edentulous patient, you need to determine the VDO. The VDR remains same throughout the life. It does not change. The physiologic rest position is a muscular position. At occlusion is a tooth bound position. The difference between the two is known as freeway space. This is known as Nisswanger's method. There is nothing known as Boucher's guide or Nisswanger's guide. There is Nisswanger's method of vertical dimension assessment and this is their technique. The answer here is Billy's guide. Billy said that the distance A to B is, is same. Okay, So for a patient, the distance between the pupil of the eye and the rima oris or the corner of the mouth is equal to the distance between the anterior nasal spine and the lower border of the mandible. So if you measure them, you will get the uh, desired vertical dimension at rest. Okay, this is known as Billy's guide. Its accuracy is questionable in patients with facial asymmetry. That is the disadvantage. So this is A and this is B. A is equal to B. So if you do not have any other reliable methods of getting the vertical dimension, you can use this method. Just a quick brush up of the different methods of vertical dimension because these are very popular uh, topics for questions in exam. So you have mechanical methods and physiologic methods. Let me get my highlighter. Okay. So mechanical methods is by assessment of ridge relation or by pre-extraction records. Ridge relation can be from incisive papilla to the mandibular incisor or by using the parallelism of ridges. Pre-extraction records like photographs, silhouettes, radiographs, articulated cast, facial measurements. So this facial measurements is where you will uh, consider Willie's guide and measurement from former dentures. Then the next part is the physiologic methods. Physiologic methods like PowerPoint by Boos, wax occlusal rim, physiologic rest position, phonetics, aesthetics, swallowing threshold, tactile sense and patient's perception, all of which is discussed in videos on vertical dimension. Go through them. What kind of questions can you anticipate from this topic? Profile photographs are an example of mechanical method, pre-extraction record, ridge relation, all of the above. Okay, Type of those questions. Physiologic methods of assessment of vertical dimension include all except. Okay, so all these you have to remember. Phonetics and aesthetics, very important. Okay, physiologic rest position, Nisswanger's method, very important. So these are a few questions, few topics that you need to remember. So this is an example of this image is nothing but illustration of Philly's guide, option one.